Hello, Morning Rush Irregulars. It's Casual Thursday here. <laughs> In radio, it's casual every day, isn't well, it? Well, most of the time. I've, well, I've been, I've been getting up. I had a lot of client meetings this week, so I've been, you know, wearing the nicer shirts, collars, that kind of thing. Yes, yes. Actually, I took a took a shower last night before I went to bed, Kelly Nash style. That's the way to do it. Yeah, see, I have to generally get a shower first thing in the morning or I won't wake up. But this morning, thank you for putting up the, it's a cap day for Jonathan Rush. Okay. Now, uh, today we're doing, well, we always do on the video podcast, tomorrow show, today. This way you can chime in early if you'd like, or you already have our phone number, 978-9267, 978-WCOS. So when we talk about some of the things tomorrow we're going to discuss today, then you can chime in on the morning show, or you can go and let us know what you're thinking on Twitter or Facebook. Well, we always do on Friday mornings at 6.30, Rant Array Friday. So yeah. tomorrow morning, 6.30, of course, you can get your birthday shout-outs. You can do your whatever it is. Uh, uh, school's almost here. Moms are celebrating day. You get something that's maybe you're a student. I can't believe summer vacation's almost over. Yeah, whatever. Is. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow at 6.30. But other subjects that we'd like to maybe talk about. Jonathan, I saw this story here about dating terms that are popping up now. I've, these are all new to us because we're not in the dating field. Right. Uh, paper clipping is the newest word, the newest phrase according to this. What uh, does that mean? Um, okay, well, do you remember years ago Microsoft had that assistant paper clip that would just pop up? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Rip, hello. Yeah, I miss him. Maybe I can help you. <laughs> and it was usually about eight minutes after you'd already figured out what you were doing. Exactly. Like, Why are you here? You're get, late get, to the party, hot shot. Yeah. Figure so that, it out already. That's what they're referencing. Paper clipping is somebody who's been stringing you along or uh -huh. broke up with you or whatever. They're not really a part of your life, and you've moved on, and then all of a sudden they just bloop. Pop up. Hey, maybe you'd like to do something this weekend. <laughs> Where the hell are you coming from? Paper clipping. Yeah. Make a note of it. Other ones are, are called, um, let's see, pocketing. I like pocketing. I think uh, I was a victim of this when I was a, a young man. Pocketing means uh, they, they try to separate you from family and friends and then just keep you in yes. their pocket yes. so that they can use you whenever they need you. Right. <laughs> And don't mix the family. It's not also, uh, bad boys always fall in this category. Oh, yeah? Yeah, bad boys don't get invited to the home, but family functions. You don't, you don't penetrate those circles. Cookie jarring is when you keep stringing someone along to just to use as a backup. So you're like a yeah. snack when I'm hungry. You're not, I'm not going to date you. Right. Um, we're never going to be seen in public. It's late at night. I'm not really hungry enough to have dinner. I just want a snack. Oh, yeah, yeah that's you. Yeah, and you're in the cookie call. jar. You've right. been cookie jarred. Okay. You're waiting for the... <laughs> These are some interesting terms. I don't know, maybe some of our morning rush regulars have other terms that they're using sure they for do. dating scenarios that we haven't considered. Right, we'll add to our terminology tomorrow. We'll grow our lexicon of love words, and you can help us do that if you'd like. What else we got? Tumbleweed, look at this photograph here. If you want to bring in the camera, and if you're listening to us on the podcast, uh, we also do a video thing of this uh, that you can get on YouTube. 97.5 WCOS has a YouTube page. We also try to post it on the Morning Rush blog. That is Lena Dunham uh, attempting to kiss Brad Pitt. <laughs> this was at the uh, premiere for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Okay. And Brad Pitt, I mean, here's the thing. If you reverse this, all right, oh, some Lord. some not attractive dude, right? Trying to kiss legendary hot actress. Sure, that dude's gonna get ridiculed oh. forever, and Probably maybe sexual prosecuted. Yeah, maybe sexual harassment charges Absolutely. will be brought. But when Lena Dunham does it, it's just like, oh, isn't it adorable? Yeah, she's just a, she's just living every girl's dream. Right. It's like if I bumped into dinner one night, um, and I bumped into Dina Deal from Columbia, from um, Two and a Half Men and all those. If I bumped into her and I tried to get a kiss, right? Yeah. See, now, if somebody were there with a with a video like Tumbleweed, and by the way, do you have your fingers in the way today, Tumbleweed? <laughs> no, I was giving you the finger <laughs> yesterday the entire time. Yeah, if that came down, oh, can you imagine? Oh, I'm definitely going to get prosecuted for that. That's sexual harassment. Yeah. That's unwanted. Yeah, I guess, I don't, I don't know. And that, by the way, I, I'm not saying that that's right either. I'm just calling out the... And I'm not saying that Dana Dill wouldn't be appreciative of it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I've never met her. Yeah, we don't know. Maybe she'd like to have an awkward kiss attempt by Jonathan Rush. Yeah, maybe I don't she know. would know Sally would handle her business for her and beat the hell out of me. Maybe or, that's what it is. Or maybe the story really just becomes, who have you tried to kiss? Oh, and hey, And it hey, went hey, wrong. Hey, hey. I, I mean, well, maybe I'll take... 
years ago, I tried to kiss Cindy Crawford. Okay. That that didn't go well for me. That was, <laughs> uh, I think that was 1998, if I remember right, the year, and it was at a uh, Lenny Kravitz party. Okay. I'm going to save that for my book. Hmm. Kelly's going to write a book. behind uh, b- Backstage, behind the scenes, Kelly Nash. Awkward moments. Yeah, now, we've got Keyword, a... word, awkward. We've got a uh, senator... Uh, Josh Hawley, Republican, Missouri, one of the younger guys in Congress. He's only 39 years of age. Josh has got a bill proposal. It's called the Social Media Addiction Reduction Technology Act. He also calls it SMART. Okay. And here's what he says. It would prohibit social media companies from using practices that exploit human psychology or brain psychology to substantially impede the freedom of choice. So he's is this saying, a spin off of the Russian thing? He's saying, this is a Republican. He's saying that what's happening to not just the youngsters, but your yep. wife, and you would probably agree with this. Okay. She's become addicted to social media because you can mindlessly scroll through well, hours of it. That's why Sally gave it up. Sally doesn't do Facebook anymore. She's oh, really? Up. Yeah, she doesn't do it. She oh. uses a smartphone. But not for not for um, social media. Well, he's saying that it's an unfair business trade that they have. They're exploiting something in your brain oh, that makes you, you addicted to that mindless. So he basically wants to put a limit on the scrolls that you can do before they have to shut you off. Like you what? Do, like, do like, it's like the number of times I can flip through iHeartRadio before they they won't let me thumb through anymore? Yeah, that that would be the law. Is that you get like ten scrolls? Right. And then you're off. No then more I scrolling. Have to through a commercial before I can scroll again. No, he wants to shut you down for the day. He's saying you're spending too much time on social media. Wow. He's, say, he's saying nope. that Americans are losing too much of their lives, this, wasting it on social media. This this again comes from the guy who spends entirely too much time trying to come up with a a witty acronym. What was the name of the Smart, mm-hmm. which is the Social Media Addiction Reduction Technology Act. <laughs> I don't know where he got the T. I America's not going to stand for that. He's going to stop you from scrolling up or down, Another, up, or Another. sideways. We're flipping. The, uh, what's this going to do to Tinder? You can only look at five guys or five girls, and that's it. I, I, I haven't read the entire bill, Jonathan, but perhaps <laughs> some people question. would like help with it. And other people would not. I'm surprised a Republican would propose it. Uh, speaking of political news, apparently. Jeff Daniels was on uh, the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Okay. And I'm wondering if the Secret Service is going to want to talk to him after this. So he says um, that the one who's going to win the nomination is going to be the first Democrat who can walk up and punch Trump in the face. Yeah, you know, (laughs) the first person that came to mind was Madonna. I have been thinking a lot. (laughs) <laughs> about Madonna. blowing up the White House. Yeah. Does somebody have that written out for her? <laughs> it was like she was reading the, it. She's reading the cue cards? Yeah. So, and we thought, well, how can you say that? Because we know we can get arrested for making such a threat. Mm-hmm. Well, the feds did go by and have a little chit-chat with her. Now, maybe she got naked and ran them off. I don't know what happened. All I know is, Jeff, you're probably going to get a little little visit from the feds, Jeff. Yeah. And, and, and by his standard, well, I guess Madonna's never actually punched Trump. He, she no, just, she now, just threatened to blow did, up the White House. By the way, did I ever tell you this story? I think I must have mentioned this story once. Years ago, um, I was dating a girl who loved Celine Dion. Yeah. And we went yeah. to the Celine Dion at Madison Square Garden concert. And it must have been in the 90s. And we were walking in to Madison Square Garden. And I, was, I had had a couple of pops in the limo on the way down there. So I'm feeling pretty good as I'm strolling down, you know, yeah. whatever it is, 38th Street or whatever in Madison Square Garden is. And she's kind of like holding my hand, walking behind me. And uh, she didn't, never really knew anything about New York. So I'm like, ah, that's that building and that's that building. And we're walking out. Crump. There's Donald Trump with about eight people around him. And I, my finger was like that, like this close to his nose. And I go, that's Donald Trump. And I just kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that anymore. He's the president. No, no. You yeah. get that close to him now, they'll break that finger right off. Yeah, you 20, don't want to know where they take that. They put that finger after they break it off. Twenty years ago, we were fine with that kind of behavior. Exactly. Um, we also. Where's my uh, email that I sent out? The um, oh, this is this is our annual debate. We have to have that on the schedule. Seven fifteen tomorrow. Oh, we right. have to have the annual debate. 
I've been here since 05, so this will be the 14th annual Jonathan and Kelly debate about tax-free weekend. Jonathan swears this is a total waste of time and money, and you should not participate in any way. I say it's one of the greatest things that's ever happened. Look, when you go to tax-free weekend, let's just walk through this slowly one more time. You don't pay tax. That means you're saving 9% in Richland County. 9%. Now, that's a pretty good discount. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Next weekend at Staples, where you're going to be shopping this weekend for school supplies, they're going to have everything 25% off. Now, do we have to do the math? 25% off is greater than 9% off. See? So, don't worry. Now, Kelly just does it because it's a principal thing. He'll explain that. Well, I, I would say possibly, I, I don't know what Staples has planned this weekend. Maybe they got a 20% off sale, and then next weekend I'll have 25% off. But they would still be a better deal this weekend if that was the case. What I'm saying, though, Jonathan, is, is that in any attempt to stick it to the man, the man here is the, is the government who's taking money out of our pockets, I will always stick it to the man, even if i got to pay an increase. I'll, I'll give you an example. I've said this before. I drive to Lexington sometimes specifically to stick it to Richland County because they raised our taxes on things. Yes. I'll go to Lexington out of my way yes. to say, and I'll, I'll pay more in Lexington. I don't care as long as I'm starving gar government of that yeah. money. Kelly will spend an extra $6 on gas to yes. drive to Lexington from his home to buy something to save four cents so that he can stick it to the man. That's a thinking man right there. That's go, you go, Kelly. Yeah, thank you. I, uh, pr now maybe I'm winning you over. Maybe you're starting to see the brilliance of my argument. Uh, well, anyway, we'll talk about some of the weirder things that are going to get listed. Because, again, it's all for back-to-school shopping. So why are rubber diving suits a part of this? Why are snorkels a part of this? Well, I don't understand all the things that somehow become back-to-school necessities. If you want to go to the Department of Revenue webpage and pull up the tax-free weekend, it'll list out every item that is tax-exempt and then reminder of the items that are not. Yeah, so just, that's sometimes even more fun. It is more fun to look at that list. <laughs> well, we'll go through some of that tomorrow at 7.15. Hey, is, anything you know, else you want to get on the show? Well, you know, yesterday we mentioned that Alexa is always waiting to hear you making love. Yes. Maybe Monday, because we can't do it tomorrow. Maybe Monday I'll tell you about how I tried to trick her into recording me. Oh, good heavens. Yeah, <laughs> if she hears love making sounds then she automatically starts recording. Do you have an audio of you trying to trick Alexa? Because that might be cool. <laughs> well, I pretended I had a girlfriend, and guess what her name was? Alexa. So I know she's listening. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen, have yourself a great Thursday, and if you want to chime in tomorrow morning, uh, you know how to do that. We'll start at 6.30 with Rant and Rave, right? That's so right. get your celebrations out on 97.5 WCOS.